Now I have made fun of Axtar in the past, calling him a carbon copy of President Reagan, but that's not true at all. Axtar has an eye patch. Axtar, the Returns Trustmaster reward is Dark Breaker. It inflicts a 85% foe break and a 130% dark imperil. It's a decent ability, even though the effect duration doesn't match the cooldown. Furthermore, it can only be used by breaker units. His Super Trustmaster reward is the Obliterator's Battle Dress. It has high attack, some fire and light resistance, and when equipped onto a breaker, it gives them two strong abilities. The first, Unclouded Stance, boosts their equipment attack by 200% when carrying a single weapon. The second, Form of Iron Will, can only be used once per battle, increasing the damage modifier of physical limit bursts. Overall, it's a pretty strong Super Trustmaster reward limited to a class that can't quite win when it comes to dealing damage. Onto his active abilities. Finger Snap is a dispel. Provoke is Provoke. Obliterating Mirror of Equity can be awakened further. True Mirror of Equity chains of Absolute Mirror of Equity, partially ignores the enemy's defense, and raises the damage modifier of Axtar's physical attacks. This ability can also be awakened further to boost its effects. Special Soup is a nice ability that heals everyone else. Unfortunately though, it doesn't actually recover that much. Bursting Break breaks everyone for 80%. Full Breakdown is single target but goes to 83%. Dark Blade, Moonless Sky deals dark damage that chains its bolting strike and lowers the enemy's dark resistance by 130%. Flame Blade, Crimson Flash is the same thing but fire. Surrender can be used once per battle. It boosts Axtar's dark damage by 30%, his attack by 300%, his limit burst damage by 200%, and Fos's limit burst gauge. There is no enemy we cannot defeat, can also only be used once per battle. It inflicts an 85% attack and magic break, alongside an 88% defense and spirit break. It then massively raises the damage modifier of True Mirror of Equity. Passives. With his Trustmaster reward or Super Trustmaster reward equip, Axtar gets stats, and more importantly, a lot of killers. With his innate Beast and Demon Killer buff, Axtar will get a nice baseline to build off of, and he also has a nice boost to his limit burst damage, limit burst regen, and a bit of physical evasion. He also has a 50% boost to passive provoke, autocast preemptive full break at the start of the battle, and prefers to carry a single weapon, meeting half the boost to the chain limit cap. His normal attack is changed to inflict a 110% fire and dark imperil. At EX plus 2, he'll get a lot of limit burst crystals. At EX plus 3, he'll get 500 attack. Let's look at his limit burst. It lowers the enemy's defense and spirit by 87%, the dark resistance by 140%, gives your team a strong beast killer, and then deals dark damage. Once his Super Limit Burst is ready, Axtar will kick things off with Sabotage Shift, which doesn't really buff him. The Super Limit Burst itself adds an 87% attack and magic break, raises the Imperil to 145%, the Beast Killer to 160%, and then deals even more dark damage. Let's rank Brave abilities. Raising them just raises their damage, not their Imperils, so I just prioritize Dark. Time to make a damage rotation. On turn 1, triple cast Dark Blade, Moonless Sky. On turn 2, cast Surrender. There is no enemy we cannot defeat, and Dark Blade, Moonless Sky. On turn 3, use his Limit Burst. On turn 4, double cast Dark Blade, Moonless Sky, and True Mirror of Equity. On turn 5, use his Super Limit Burst. Repeat the rotation from here, even though all you can really do is this one ability and his Limit Burst. Of course, if you have him at EX plus 2, don't forget about his Super Trustmaster Rewards Grandis ability. So, EX 2. As a Super Limit Burst user, Axtar innately benefits from additional EX Awakenings. At EX plus 2, Axtar gets Warring Spirit and his Super Trustmaster reward. An instant Limit Burst is definitely a nice way to start the fight, but you have to keep in mind that it lacks any attack or magic breaks, in case that happens to be an issue. His Super Trustmaster reward is really good, but it's also limited in its strengths, so it's not especially universally useful. At EX plus 3, he gets 500 attack. On the bright side, his Super Limit Burst would be extremely reliable, but on the other hand, it's EX plus 3. So how good is Axtar, the return? As a unit, his strengths are pretty clear. High Dark Breaks, Regular Breaks, and maybe those Beast Killers. As a Breaker, he's certainly reliable, and thanks to the way Breaks work, he'll certainly be a pivotal unit when it comes to pushing Dark Damage. On the other hand, beyond that there's not much else to speak of. Most of his best attacks are locked to Dark, and while you can use him in fights that don't need Dark, he will need support. As a pure Super Limit Burst Breaker, Axtar does not have access to staff buffs when his Super Limit Burst is ready to go, meaning the only buffs he's got is a one-time Grandis ability. And with that in mind, his damage output falls pretty short of the actual damage dealers. 
To be fair, he's not a damage dealer in the first place, but as a result, you just have a simple unit on your hands. Did you know Japan is starting to release breakers of 160% Imperos now? Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you're looking forward to the new Final Fantasy Tidus unit, and tell me who you're bringing to the Fragment Dungeon. I'm bringing these guys.